you uh, very, very much for watching uh, and uh, welcome to Electrica. Now, uh, I have some circuit here and that guy. So, uh, today I wanted us to look at uh, this. This is a timer specifically because we've had uh, many videos and still many videos are coming uh, about starters, contactors, street lights, you know, all kind of stuff, uh, automatic changeovers. So uh, this little guy here is really inevitable in most of the circuits, uh, especially when you're doing automation. Uh, automation where we are not do, uh, using drives. So this guy can be very, very useful. Uh, now, before we go further, I, I have a, a circuit here, demo. these timers come with a circuit, but I, I wish you can understand it first. Now first, we have this. Uh, this guy now what happens is, is uh, first of all, he's 240 volts AC, uh, that's the uh, rating of the coil. 240 AC, and uh, it has got two terminals. All the terminals are named clearly. You have A1, that's for live, then you have A2 that feeds the neutral. Now, it has got uh, other uh, contacts. Uh, it has got A1, yeah, it has got A3, it has got 15, uh, it has got uh, 16, 18, and 82. I already talked about that. Now, this side here, uh, this is how it goes. Now, we have these three contacts that we are going to build, uh, to look at and to use. We have 15, uh, 18, and 16. Now, uh, 15 uh, is common. 15, which is this, uh, this one, is common. Uh, and... Uh, this is where you have to feed your live here, 15. Then if you look here, you see that uh, 15 is common. Now 16 is closed to common, is normally closed, and 18 is open. So it really depends on what you want to use your timer for. Now exactly uh, for this one. <coughs> now let me show you uh, first. This timer, uh, it has got here two lights. Now, one light, uh, uh, it goes on when you feed it with 240, and then the red one, it's for contact. In case it has closed, uh, this light will go on. Before it closes, it will, it will not be on. Uh, you see, it has got a dial, some two dials here, and here you have got time. Time in seconds, time in minutes, time in hours. You have 30 hours, you have 3 hours, you have 30 minutes, you have 3 minutes, you have uh, 30 seconds, and you have uh, 3 seconds. Now, that means that uh, your time that you've set, uh, the moment, because this is an only, this is an only timer, uh, this is an only timer, and uh, here in this circuit here, when you feed uh, the supply in your, through your common here, and this is normally closed, so which means that uh, no, number 18 is open. So if you're going to use it in only, uh, whatever you're going to use it for, you'll have to connect uh, your supply to number 18 to number 18, such that the moment this timer is energized, your time, uh, number 18 gets supply, and then number 16, supply is cut off. Yes, so if you measure here, if you measure uh, 16, let's get our multimeter. So our multimeter is on, and uh, we will leave our dial in uh, in continuity. 
uh, okay so so we've got uh, 15 and 16 and 18 and we say that 15 and 16 they are closed so we will have to put here this is uh, 15 yes and then 16 So that's it. So 15 and 16, they are closed. And then 15 and 18, it's open. OK. So that's what happens. Now, let's look at where the thing is being uh, used. First, in your changeover, this acts as a uh, only. Now, for example, uh, let me say uh, your main power is gone. So if your main power is gone and the generator is going to start, you know very well that if you, you have no timer in, uh, in your circuit, it means that uh, the generator will start on load. Understand? And you know, when the generator starts, uh, it needs some, at least some few seconds, at least uh, 30 seconds. Uh, for it to attain its maximum speed, of which that will help it to attain its uh, operating uh, frequency. And then also all the parameters, uh, the voltage and thing are all, you know, in sequence are okay. Uh, so you give it, it depends, you give it 30 seconds or slightly more, that one is enough for your generator to have, you know, to, uh, to have aligned uh, all the parameters. Then this, will uh, engage your circuit. So remember the generator will start. Uh, the, the moment the power goes, the generator will start, will crank and start. And then when it starts, the first thing it will do before doing any other thing, it will give power to this guy here. And then this guy will take 30 seconds before this guy supplies power to, to the relay and then the relay will give it back to will give it back to to the contactor of the gen. Okay. Now it, we use it both sides. You must use it on the main contactor and also on the uh, you know gen contactor. Now on the main contactor, uh, the reason why you need it to be there, it's uh, you also if the power comes back, you need to put to give it some delay. You know it. Uh, some delay at least you give it some delay to doggo uh, i mean small so when you give it a, a delay small it really uh helps all right so l let us uh supply it and then we we'll see uh what happened is then i can show you what i was uh really saying so i have a, a cable here and so what we're going to do, this will go to uh, to A1, this red. Red will go to A1. Okay. And then we have uh, A2. Then we put this blue as a neutral. Okay. Now remember, remember we tested 15 and uh, 16, they were open, 15, 16, they were open. Now that's the same thing you want to do, now we are going to test uh, 15 and 18, we'll see what happens now. Let me supply it, you see, it's on. Okay. Now, first, you, you've seen some, some blinks there. Uh, that's because we set it to, to 3 seconds. But now, let us put it in 30 seconds. And uh, you see, these both lights are lighting. We have the green light and the red light. The light now, the red light is showing us that the circuit is complete. So, 
I want us to test uh, our 16. Now, what we are going to do is, uh, of course, we are going to use continuity because there is no supply on, uh, on those contacts. The supply is only on the coil. So that's why we are still going to use that. The continuity now, uh, our meter is on. Now, let's look. This is uh, 15, just to confirm because I can't see it well. Okay, and 18. I need you to see. Okay, now you see that's number 18. Number 18 is now closed, and number 16 is open. Now, if we if we take off power, we will do number 16. Uh, you see, number 16 and then number 18 is open. So basically, that's what, uh, that's what happens. Uh, normally close, uh, open is, and uh, normally open closes. Uh, okay. Now, the other thing also is uh, now it's in 30, so you are able to see. So it will break for 30 seconds before this one engages. That's the delay uh, that you've given it. There you go. Now it's on. Thank you very much. Uh, Thanks thank for watching. Now what we're going to do, the next video, I uh, will show you how it connects. Uh, I will show you how it, it delays, how it connects, and how it can control your contactor for emergency lighting. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.